Hello everyone, my name is Tan, I'm an artist who lives in LA and today I am reacting to Stray Kids The Sound, their new Japanese comeback music video. Sorry I didn't put makeup on, I just felt lazy. Please forgive me, I know my dark circles are insane. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go right into it. I have already listened to the song, I watched uh, like a teaser. I really don't know what the music video is gonna be like, but I was a little apprehensive going into this, not apprehensive, Basically, I listened to the song and I filmed a reaction for it and I realized that it's just not really my cup of tea. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of like, kind of like anthemic chorus type songs. I do really like the track. It's just not my favorite top line maybe, but that's okay. Not everything has to be for me. So I didn't post my reaction um, because because I knew it was going to have to grow on me. And so now it's grown on me. So now I'm like super, super pumped to get into this. I don't know the choreography. I didn't get to watch that performance. They did nothing. So let's go. We've got rustling wind, empty house. Okay. And then Felix wakes up. Interesting. Nice. Oh, shh. Okay, this is fun. They're like a clock kind of, or... Okay, cool graphics. I love these outfits. Interesting concept. They're all just shooting in one room. Okay, we changed room. Oh, that's cool. No, that reminds me of um, one of their older performances. What is it? I knew. Damn, slay, Sun Man. He's slaying. Holy shit. Ah, oh, I love like the big fan on them. This is a really interesting concept. So now they're not rock stars and they're just sad. And now they are rock stars and they're cool. Okay, channel the drums. Chanson oh, Center. <sighs> this pre-chorus, it hits every fucking time. Velociraptors. Whoa. Oh my god, Han, stop! He hit every camera! Oh, this is such a cool concept. Okay, so then he's coming for me. I need a performance video. Yeah, tell it, Lino. I love this choreo. They're so cool. This would be a really fun dance challenge, like the transition from like peaceful into like chaos. Oh, I love them. That was so good. Oh, I have a lot of thoughts about like the visual metaphors that they chose for the concept of this music video. Despite the fact that this song had to grow on me, this concept for the music video, it might be one of my favorites because it's kind of simple, right? There's one story in this. There's no like, like, you know, in God's menu, they have the construction people, they have the scientists, they have the racetrack. You have like a few different plot lines coming in together to give you a story. This is just one concept. And 
I personally really like seeing when a director takes one concept and finds a way to make a complete story out of it and make it just as impactful as something with a lot of different concepts and a lot of different visuals like a lot of Stray Kids other music videos. I have an idea of what exactly this music video means but I'm gonna watch it again and go through it with you guys. So basically what we have in this music video is you have Stray Kids in a house and the whole thing takes place in a house um, which when I first started watching it I was like they're just in a house that's kind of interesting and then it started to unfold so when you're making a music video you need to have a storyline you need to have like a problem that resolves and you need to go through some kind of transformation and engage the viewer you can just you know do a performance video in one spot but usually you want to kind of go from like a to b so in this music video the a is this very peaceful light filled home and b is them like destroying the entire home with the sound right um and you use the pacing of the music to build the story to show how you get from point a to point b and doing that all in one space is limiting which makes it interesting and i love stuff like this we have this blustery light filled house and it's like the winds of change i'm not i said this was a clock i'm not sure if it's a clock but it seems like the choreography is like cause and effect right like someone goes like this and another person lifts their leg there's like all these shots of them seeming kind of isolated and then they come together and they make the sound. And there's this blustery wind that like, it comes from outside and then it becomes them. And Stray Kids basically like harness it and become like this force of nature. And then so here they realize that they are the force of nature and that this kind of like beautiful trap that is this place where like everything is peaceful but also everything is like unchanging. It, they realize that they can break through it with their powers of sound. It's like they're being infected by this force of nature that is music. And then they're like dancing in the thunder and rain. So it feels like Stray Kids saw all this adversity coming their way and rather than crumbling like the house, they learned how to become this force of nature. And that force of nature is also their music. See Thunderous. Um, yeah, it makes perfect sense to me. Stray Kids are the sound. They are thunder. They are lightning. They are a force of nature. And they are not even just strength in the face of trouble, but they like encapsulate all that tumultuousness of life. And they fucking roll with it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. I love a simple, I love seeing a simple concept like that, like light versus dark and Stray Kids saying that they aren't the light, they're the darkness. And then seeing it like kind of built out on this really fantastical scale. It was just like so fascinating and so fun to me. And yeah, that's gotta be up in one of my favorite, up, up in my like top three of the Stray Kids music videos probably. So very happy with that and so many cool shots in it. Maybe I should draw some. That sounds fun. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sitting around for all this rambling. Tell me how you like the music video. And um, yeah, I will see you guys for the sound, the album when it comes out. And hopefully I'll get some stuff posted in between. But until then, goodbye. Take care. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.